Welcome back to another episode of the Acastus Knight Asterius. I'm Bry the Builder, and in this episode, I'm going to be painting the cockpit interior. Um, so let me just quick go through the colors, and uh, I will also list them um, on screen so you can see them and pause on it if you need to. Uh, so starting with the base color for the uniform, um, or our, I guess our pilot's clothing, because it's not really uniform so much. It's really just kind of a base, almost undergarment that would be under power armor. Um, so we're going to base it with McCrag blue, but I definitely don't want to leave it that because it shouldn't be, you know, any kind of space marine traditional power armor color. So we're going to layer that up with Thunderhawk blue and make it look more like, you know, like just dirty clothing. Um, and then for some of just the interior area, uh, I've got some Eschen gray and some Abaddon Black or Abaddon Black, not ever sure how I'm really supposed to say that. Um, so then for um, our pilot's beard and hair, I have, let's see, to start with here, some Steel Legion Drab to, to base it with, and then I'll layer that up with Scrag Brown over here for just a bunch of like cables and that kind of stuff in the interior i've got corn red and then here for any of the kind of lit red bright red stuff i have wild rider red um for our pilot's flesh i'll start with a layer of bugman's glow i'll base it i guess with bugman's glow and then layer that up with kislev flesh uh, and then for mechanical parts i have our standard lead belcher for most of it and then I will layer that in other spots and just, I suppose, just replace it in spots with things like Rune Lord Brass, uh, Brass Scorpion, and Stormholst Silver. Um, and that should be, I think, pretty much everything. Um, I may add a little bit of green uh, for some buttons in spots, but that might be about it. Okay, so I am going to get started. All right, I have two main brushes that I really do most of my work with. Um, hopefully I can get this to focus here. All right, so I've got a, a Windsor Newton Series 7. All right, and it is, this one is a size zero. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, you can see it. I get a lot of reflection from the lights, but that's what it is, Windsor Newton Series 7, size zero. And I also have uh, a nice army painter brush. It's a Wargamer detail brush. So and it also seems to be about a size zero, I would say. And maybe, maybe a one, but they're really close. Um, my Windsor Newton's definitely starting to wear out a little bit, so I use this one for metallics now. Um, cause I definitely don't want any of the metallic paints in my newer, more like, I guess still pristine, um, army painter brush. So no matter what, I, I, I really feel like no matter how well I clean my brushes and I tend to take care of my stuff quite well, um, metallics will still beat up a brush over time. So I, I tend to use my more recent good brush for metallics in any kind of detail area. And then my new good brush is always for pretty much everything else. All right, so now let's get to it.
All right, as a base coat, or in general, I try to start with the surfaces, really, that are about as far back uh, as possible. And his uniform is definitely one of the furthest back. Um, so I'm going to look around and see some of the spots maybe around like the chair here is his seat make these a more of a dark gray
All right, I think that should be pretty much it for base coats. So we're gonna let that sit for a while and then I'll come back and do some washes. And then I can add the LEDs. Once it's lit up, it's gonna look really cool. It's actually looking really cool already. These colors look great in there. Really, once it's lit, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna look awesome. All right, so now I've got a Drakenhof Nightshade. We're gonna use that on the blue uniform parts, and I have my kind of crappy brush. Want that to settle back. I want to add it with control. It's, this is kind of a nice muted blue. And then to move to a completely different area, add a little bit of Reckland Flesh Shade to the face. The beard, the beard will end up being done more with Agrax uh, Earthshade to kind of get nice um, depth. And then we may end up needing to go back and add a little bit more highlights. just realized I still need to do the Kislev flesh on the hand bits there. Can't shade those yet. some null oil. Uh, this is gonna go well most everywhere actually um, that isn't the body. Let's work our way around and it should really get all that detail to pop. that may still end up needing a bit more uh, detail work to get some things to pop out and highlight. But it's nice that the washes do a lot of the work.
remember too, there's going to be a lot of light in here. So I don't think there's any possibility of making any of this too dark. Space is framed pretty nicely. just a little bit more red around the eyes so I'm just gonna use a very small amount of Karaberg crimson all right let's let that dry I think that adds a bit more depth All the gauges and clusters are looking really nice. It's gonna look great once it's illuminated. Now let's see if I can actually get a good shot here. There. There, wow. When you're about ready to... That turned out pretty cool. Alright. Now, once that all sets, I'll actually get the LEDs mounted. Um, so that the whole thing can then be mounted into the carapace. So that'll be fun. The next one will be the LEDs for the cockpit. All right, thanks for watching.